Yo, if you follow me, chances are you probably know by now that I like to turn everyday objects into characters. So a couple weeks ago, I turned this park swing into this character, and I got a lot of requests asking how I did the braid. So I'm gonna show you a super simple method that I use to make braids. I promise it's super easy, so let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so here we are in the Illustrator file. I have each braid separated onto its own layer. So what I'm going to do is just drag one right here so you can get a look at it, and I'll make a new one right next to it. I like to use the pencil tool for this. So let's go over here and make sure our fidelity is nice and smooth. And then basically it's just a matter of drawing it out like this with bumps on the left side. Do as many as you want. We could draw a flat line on the bottom. So holding down shift. And then for the right side, make sure the bump lands right in the middle. I'm gonna land right in the middle of this bump right here. So we'll go up like that. And then again, land right in the middle of this bump. And then keep doing that all the way to the top. Like this. So now you have the main shape. And then what you can do is just go right in here, double click on your shape. You can switch over to your pen tool. So that's P on your keyboard. And then start a line right on this point right here and then continue the line that way. And you're gonna keep doing that on each angle until you get all the way to the bottom. And that's it for the braid. You can just go ahead and throw in maybe a hair tie like this. Let's just make it red. And then we can just go ahead and add a little piece of hair sticking out the bottom like that. Send that to back with command shift left bracket and make it blue. And now you have a braid. If you want to, you can add one more slight detail, just adding shadows to the braid to give it a little bit more depth. So we're gonna add it to the left side over here with your pen tool, click right about there and then get a curve line this way like that now let's just make sure this is a solid black color so we we'll hold down shift with your eyedropper tool and you can click on this line and that'll turn it purple for you like that so let's do that to each one of these on the left side And there you go, that's a braid, super easy. Feel free to use this technique if you wanna use it for one of your own characters. I always love seeing these tutorials being put to use, so feel free to tag me in your posts. If you enjoyed this, don't forget to hit like and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Peace.